Greetings all. For today's lunch, I'm going to be cooking a tasty rice and sausages in fried tomato sauce. So let's begin. Okay, so for today's recipe, I've got a packet of seven or eight small hot dog sausages, which I've chopped up into small bites. And I've also got some onion, green pepper, red pepper, garlic, and some mushrooms. Um, this is the amount that I'm going to use, but obviously you can use more or less if you wish. This is about a quarter of a pepper, quarter, three garlic cloves, five mushrooms, and about half a small onion. So we'll start off by turning the stove on. I'm going to turn it up to number seven only. which is two thirds, three quarters of a way. And I'm going to add about four tablespoons of olive oil. And we'll wait for this to heat up. Also, the, can you see from there? I've got water here ready for my rice, which I'm also going to turn on and wait for that to start boiling. Okay, so the oil looks hot so I'm going to add the veg to it and I'm just going to gently um, fry it okay so once this is nearly done I've moved it about every now and then it's nice and soft, not browned, but just soft. I'm going to add the sausages in, move them about, and just leave them there for about five minutes. And the water for the rice is nearly starting to boil. Okay, so this is looking nice. So the next step, what I'll do, but before, the water for the rice is starting to boil. So I'm going to add the rice with salt. I shouldn't have to show you how to cook rice. Everyone does it their own way. And I'm going to leave it there for exactly 10 minutes cooking 10 minutes. It's already got salt also and in the meantime let's move the camera. Okay so to this I'm going to add a stock cube. It's a neat one. I'm just going to break it in there. This doesn't crumble. This is sticky. It's like toffee. So I'll just break it there into little pieces, it'll dissolve in a while. And I'm going to add some, a bit of black pepper. You add how much, how less you want. And I'm going to sprinkle some sweet paprika. Again, use as much or as less as you like. Um, what next? Oh yes, a little bit of salt. And I'm going to add the glass of white wine. I'll just move it about a bit. And we'll leave that there for five minutes so that the alcohol evaporates. Okay, so the alcohol has evaporated. So what I'm going to do next is add the tomato. And of course, I'm going to put some water in here, in here and we'll give it a good shake. And add it there as well. Let's move this about.
and I'm going to cover it up and tail it down to number three so on low heat and um, once the rice is done I'll be back okay so after 10 minutes the rice is ready so what I'm gonna do is take the water any water that is out with one of these and rinse it under hot water well I've rinsed the rice and this I'm going to turn it up now to number five and I'll add the rice in and also I'll add the glass of water and we'll give it a a mix about that should do nicely mixed and the next step will be to cover it up and we we'll leave it there on medium heat number five for ten minutes well you won't believe this but five minutes have gone by and we've just had a power cut luckily this seems ready let's have a taste just my luck isn't it so let's have a taste of this should be done mmm it's gorgeous nice so 10 minutes weren't needed at the end so it's nice it's nice and risotto kind you know it's watery which is what I wanted it to be though 10 minutes wasn't needed 5 was enough so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna serve it on a plate just for the thumbnail of course okay let's serve this up can't believe we've just had a power cut incredible my first power cut since I've been here which is about a year and right in the middle of doing a recipe well so here is today's lunch nice and easy well I hope that you enjoyed it um, thank you for watching and leave me a comment leave me any questions give me a like if you enjoyed it and I look forward to sharing my next recipe video with you thank you for watching once again and goodbye